tangent is length of tangent. So in this example, length of tangent is length of P Q. Now we have some properties about length of this tangent. If we draw any tangent from an external point on a circle, we can draw one tangent from a single point. As P is an external point for a circle and A is a point Q, point of contact. So we can draw only single with this P and Q, we can draw only a single tangent for a circle by this external point P. But if, let's say we do not have to go for this point Q, we have to draw tangents only through the point P. We have to draw tangents to this point, external point P. Then how many tangents we can draw for a single circle? Then we can draw only two tangents for a single circle one is this PQ, second is PR. Only two tangents we can draw, not more than these two. Now what is the property of these two? A theorem about the circle and tangent says that if you draw any two tangents from an external point for a same circle, then these two tangents are equal to each other. It means PR is equal to PQ. How can we say that? So the theorem is tangents from a single external point are equal how can we say that we have to prove this let O is the center of the circle join this P O point of contact of PR means RO and join this QO. Now we have two triangles PRO and PQO. So in triangles PRO and triangle PQO. In these two triangles, PO is equal to PO as it is common. RO is equal to QO because radius of the same circle. Now we have S, S. Now we need one A or one S. S we can't have, but A we can. Why? Because we know that tangent is always perpendicular to the radius, means 290 degree angles are there. So, angle PRO is equal to angle PQO is equal to 90 degree. The reason is radius is always perpendicular to the tangent. Now by SAS, 
we can say that triangle PRO is congruent to triangle PQO. 